Rangers and welcome to Ranger Ruby YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll be going over 10 fun facts about Grant Coors Ranch National Historic Site. Let's go ahead and dive right on in. Fact number one, Grant Coors Ranch National Historic Site is one of two National Historic Sites located in the great state of Montana. Fact number two, wide open spaces, the hardworking cowboy and his spirited cow pony, as well as vast herds of cattle are among the strongest symbols of the American West. Once the headquarters of a 10 million acre cattle empire, Grant Coors Ranch National Historic Site preserves these symbols and commemorates the role of the cattlemen in American history. Fact number three, in the mid 1800s, news of mining, timber, land, and other business opportunities brought a flood of immigrants and fortune seekers out to the American West. Completion of the Transcontinental Railroad in 1869 helped expand all of these growing industries. Growing towns in the West and East needed food and a new style of businessman took hold, the Western Cattle Baron. Fact number four, some of the first cattle in this valley were brought by a handful of settlers, including Johnny Grant, who began wintering cattle in Western Montana valleys in the 1850s. The Deer Lodge Valley was especially good winter range due to the surrounding mountains capturing most of the falling snow. Fact number five, in 1866, Conrad Coors purchased the Grant home and 365 heads of cattle. He formed a powerful partnership with his younger half-brother, John Bielenberg, and continued to graze cattle in this valley while expanding in other rangers in eastern Montana, Wyoming, Colorado, as well as Canada. Fact number six, during the open range cattle era, it was possible to become wealthy raising cattle without actually owning any acreage. Most ranchers did own a base of operations and at least some, like the Conrad Coors, owned millions of acres. Fact number seven, cowboys were the working class of the cattle industry. For a dollar a day and found, which our board and rooms where it existed, a young man works long hours, occasionally risking his leg and limb to tend the cattle of another. He lived a way of life that by the popular imagination has become synonymous with freedom and rugged individualism. Fact number eight, most cowboys were young in their teens and twenties. And unlike the all white cast of Hollywood Western movies, the historic cowboys were a mix of ethnic groups reflecting American society. About a quarter of them were African American with a strong representation of Hispanics too. English, Irish, German, and French immigrants were to be found, and amongst the finest cowboys were Native Americans. Fact number nine, by the 1880s, Conrad Coors was shipping 10,000 heads of cattle annually by rail to stockyards in Chicago. Fact number 10, the winter of 1886 is devastating to almost all ranching communities within North America. Snow had blanketed the range so deep in places that cattle couldn't reach the places where what little grass was even under. In January, the hoped for Chinook winds melted the snow away and left exposed ridges, only to be followed again by another blizzard and unrelenting cold that made grazing near impossible. By spring, the magnitude of loss was staggering, with ranches experiencing up to 60 and up to 95% of a loss. Well, everybody, that's the end in today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up and comment down below with your thoughts. I'd love to hear from you. Also, be sure to click that red subscribe button and the little bell next to it to always know when I post new videos. Thank you so much for watching again, and I shall see you next video. Bye!